We just got a bunch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate news and I wanted to go over it, so let's jump on in to the latest Nintendo Direct that gave us everything we wanted and more. <laughs> Simon Belmont joins the roster, and I'm sure Castlevania fans everywhere are super excited about this, not only because he's joining the fight, but also Richter Belmont as well as an Echo Fighter. This is really exciting, and it's pretty surprising how uh, Konami is getting along so well with Nintendo, because I'm not sure if you know this, but they're a company that is, is well known for pretty much sucking, so I'm glad we're getting cool characters like Snake back into Smash and like these Castlevania characters. And in relation to that Castlevania news, the character Olicard will make an appearance as an assist trophy. Then the excitement doesn't end there. Out of nowhere, out of the blue, we got two awesome Echo Fighters that I'm really excited to play as, and yeah, sure, they're Echo Fighters, and they probably fight really similar to their main primary characters, but Dark Samus just looks so awesome, so I just cannot wait to play as her. Dark Samus joins the roster along with Krom from the Fire Emblem franchise. We've gotten a crazy amount of Fire Emblem characters. I mean, we've gotten Roy, Marth, Lucina, Ike, Corrin, and now we've got Krom. It's crazy. That's six characters right there, and, and don't forget about Robin. Jesus, this just so many characters from the Fire Emblem franchise, and I'm sure people who love that franchise are really excited. So I'm honestly happy for them, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, Krom is looking to be an Echo Fighter for Ike, so that's at least a little different from having Lucina, Marth, and Roy, who all fight very similar. So it's nice that this Fire Emblem character isn't exactly like three other characters, because that would be a little excessive. Nintendo also announced that there's going to be over a hundred stages, like... My god, a person might buy this game and not even play a hundred matches before they move on to something else just because how short people's attention spans are these days. So yeah, that's, that's pretty nuts in my opinion. And if you include the Omega Mode variations, there's actually over 300 different stages. This is seriously the ultimate Super Smash Brothers. Now it all makes sense why they decided to give it that name, and it's just so impressive. Speaking of stages, there's also a new feature that lets you choose two stages before you start a match, and then it'll switch to the other stage mid-match. So I think that's really exciting because, like I said, if there's over 300 stages, then you might not even get around to playing them all in such a long amount of time. So at least you can choose more than one stage each fight. I'm probably going to use this feature a lot. It might not seem that exciting, but I think it's going to be really cool once you're actually fighting with a bunch of friends and out of nowhere it changes to some like crazy hazards levels. So in my opinion, I think this new mode is like a nice like quality of life feature. They also announced that there's going to be over 900 songs. Like, wow. Like, I, I, I know I'm just going to like, this whole video I'm going to say like, wow, oh my god, how, how can they do this? And it's because it's so true. How are they doing this? They're giving us everything we ever wanted inside one Smash Brothers game. And they also say that you can shut off the game and listen to music as you're walking down the street with your giant Switch. So if you want to do that, I think that's pretty cool. There's also a more intricate and more detailed practice mode for people who want to practice and try to become a crazy good Super Smash Brothers fighter. Now you have more options at your disposal, so that's really cool for people who want to do that. They also showed off some new items like this banana that like shoots a gun or something. I'm not sure what Donkey Kong did. And there's also a new sword called Death's Scythe or something like that. It was really hard to say. I remember that. And it looks really cool. It's pretty much just another super powerful sword like the beam sword. So I think that's really exciting. I know they haven't showed off all the items. They probably never will even leading up to launch. I'm sure they want to keep something for surprise. But, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they just want to give us all the information so we get more excited, which also makes sense. So, there's probably tons of items, probably tons of Pokeballs to come. They showed us some new Pokemon, lots of Omega forms, maybe only one actually, or an Aloha form, whatever they're called these days. Seeing new Pokemon in HD is really exciting, so I'm eager to see what other Pokemon we're going to see in this game. I know there's more than what they've showed off so far, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see for that as well. Now, when it comes to assist trophies, I'm seeing a bunch of characters that, that I would have loved as playable characters, like Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog and Bomberman, and of course, the new Shovel Knight assist trophy they just announced him today. And I just wanna say, man, I am proud of Yacht Club Games. Like, they're just a small, they were a small, like, indie developer and now all of a sudden Shovel Knight's this big deal in Super Smash Brothers. Like, yeah, he's not a playable fighter, but still, being an assist trophy in a game as big as Super Smash Brothers and coming from an, an NES-inspired indie game, that's just really impressive. And I'm so proud of that studio and of the character Shovel Knight. It's so awesome seeing him in Smash. And my god, I hope one day he becomes a playable character. I wouldn't put it past them to one day maybe turn some of these assist trophies into playable characters. Like, it seems like something they would do just to see how people react to it. Because, like, Bomberman makes so much sense, like Shovel Knight and, and Knuckles. Like, I would love those three specifically as playable characters. Those ones actually would have excited me more 
than the than some of the new characters that got announced today. So I don't know, but let me know what you think about that down in the comments. They also showed off the moon from Majora's Mask being an assist trophy. That was pretty awesome to see. And I just love cool fan service stuff like that. And lastly, they showed us a Monster Hunter like dragon as an assist trophy. Like they're going all out with these assist trophies now. I'm thinking that like they're like it's way too hard to put some of these characters in the game, but at least we can put them in as assist trophies, and that's probably a lot of fun for them. But honestly, it's really weird. Like some of these assist trophies, the way they move around and the way they're animated looks so detailed. Like they almost look like they're fighters on the stage, and that's just really impressive. And I'm I'm just really like excited. Like their attention to detail with these characters is so awesome. So. That's all I really got to say today. Wait, no it isn't, because King K. Rule was finally announced. This has been a character fans have been clamoring for, just like Ridley. I don't know why, King K. Rule seems kind of random in my opinion, but he's finally here, people are finally gonna stop asking, and this developer just keeps giving us everything fans are asking for, and that light bulb just went out, so I'm sorry that my light just got way dimmer. So that's probably where I'm gonna call it here today, guys. I'm Brett Medlock. Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you excited about this new Smash Direct? Are you excited for these characters, these new modes, these new assist trophies? Let me know. I will talk to you guys later.